Hello everyone, I'm Ethan, the founder of Outcast Games, and in this episode of Bite Size UE5, I'll be covering the new physics fields. Physics fields are similar to other fields inside of Unreal Engine in that you place them somewhere and they affect what is happening inside of them. A post-process volume could be considered a field of sort where inside of it, the visuals are affected in a certain way. Physics fields affect physics in a variety of ways. They allow for more control over what happens within them. A dampening field is one example, a physics field that applies linear dampening. Another example would be an anchor field, a physics field that anchors a geometry collection so that when you fracture and it falls apart, the part that's anchored doesn't fracture or fall apart with the rest. Physics fields can also communicate with other parts of Unreal Engine, such as Materials or Niagara. There are three main types of physics fields inside of Unreal Engine 5. Transient fields, which are created, executed, and destroyed during runtime. Construction fields, which are created within the construction script. And persistent fields, which are created and execute every tick until disabled. Each field can be assigned a physics type to effect, such as linear force or external strain. Physics fields can have static, kinematic, or dynamic metadata attached to them, which act as filters. To really understand physics fields, I think it's best if we go through a quick start guide together. So for the rest of this video here, I'll be going through the quick start guide for chaos physics fields, which can be found in the Unreal Engine 5 documentation. Let's jump into the engine and go. Here I am inside of the UE5 editor. I'm going to show you some different physics fields types and how they can be used to affect chaos physics inside of the engine. To begin, let's create a cube because we need something to destroy. Let's set the scale to 2 by 2 by 6. Let's go to the fracture mode, new, we'll create a geometry collection, fracture it, make sure these minimum and maximums are set to 60. I've recorded this video a couple of times over. Um, this is the most recent time. I've already set these. That's why they're at 60 for you. They should be at 20. So set these to 60, click fracture, go back into edit mode, search bone in the details panel for the geometry collection and unselect show bone colors. Now you raise this up, you simulate it, and it does not work correctly. And that is because there are two values you need to change. If we search cubed and pull up our cube geometry collection, we need to change collision type to particle implicit and implicit type to level set. Save and close, and now it works how you'd expect. One more thing we're going to do with this, we're going to search damage. We're going to add two damage thresholds to this dam, two indexes to this damage threshold away, away, array, I mean. Set the top one to 800, middle one to 200, bottom one to 50, and that'll just give it a bit more of a realistic simulation for whatever material default white cubes are made out of inside of UE5. Now, let's lower this back down. Let's create our first field. This field will be a spherical field which applies external stress. Let's create a blueprint class. Let's search field in all classes. Select field system actor. Let's name this BP underscore stress field. Let's open it up. And let's add sphere collision and radial fall off. We're going to set the sphere radius to 150 and we're going to disable hidden in game. We can now go to our event graph 
can add a delay to begin play. We can get our field system component and we can create, let me believe, add transient field. We're going to enable the field and set the field type to external strain. We're now going to get our radial fall off. We're going to create set radial fall off, not create. Plug that into field note. Delete these, we don't need them. Promote field magnitude to a variable, compile, and set its default value to 10,000. Now let's get a reference to our sphere and let's get our scaled sphere radius. And let's get our world position, world location. Plug that into center position. And now if we click compile and save and bring in our stress field, raise it up and click play, nothing happens. Let's see why that is. So there's a bug, I think, that I'm experiencing if I just use an event tick instead. Plug that in, unplug this, and click play. It works. It's a bug with Unreal Engine 5, and I'm not sure why it's not always working in begin play with begin play. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So that is our stress field. It will apply external stress to anything inside of it. Now let's create an anchor field. An anchor field will anchor your geometry collection or well, whatever part of your geometry collection is inside of it. So that let's say we have an anchor up top. See how the top falls? That won't happen. And now let's make that not happen, I guess. Okay, so blueprint class, all classes, Field, field system actor, BP underscore anchor field. Now we're going to add box collision, box fall off, and uh, and a culling field and a uniform integer. We're also going to add a variable. We're going to name this static. We're going to change the variable type to e object state type enumerator compile default value should be static. Now let's go to actually let's grab our box collision and set this to be 128 by 128 by 32. Compile, save. Now let's go to our construction script. Anchor fields have to be created in the construction script because they have to be initialized before physics begins simulating. Now let's get our field system component. And now let's remove construction fields to make sure we only have one construction field going on at any given time. Another field system component, add construction field. We're going to enable the field and we're going to set the field type to, let's see, dynamic state. Now we're going to get our culling field. We're going to set culling field. We're going to plug that into the field node here. We're going to set the culling operation to outside. Super important, it will not function if you don't do that. I've missed it a couple of times and the videos have gone on for a while as I've tried to debug previous attempts at this video, I should say. So make sure that's set to outside there. Now get your box fall off. Again, we're getting a set blank, in this case set box fall off. We plug this into 
colon field, we then get our box collision, get world transform. We're going to plug that into the box transform. And now we're getting our uniform integer. We are setting our uniform integer. We are getting our static variable and we are getting a two a two, uh, what was it? Two int byte converter. Plugging that in, plugging this into here. And that should be everything for our construction script. Let's compile, save, get our anchor field, bring it in, raise it up. And now if we click play, it is not going to work. We have to tell this to use the anchor field. So let's go and search chaos spelled correctly. Under initialization fields, add a element and select R, not our stress field. I select that on accident, but the anchor field. And it doesn't work. All right, so of all things, lowering the anchor seemed to fix the issue. And the final field type I'll be covering in this video is a disable field, where any pieces of a geometry collection, if they land in it, they stop simulating physics to save up processing power. We're going to create it like any other field. Blueprint class, field system actor, and let's name this BP underscore disable field. Let's open it up and let's add a box collision, a box fall off, and another box fall off. We're going to name this box fall off, box fall off, oops, we're going to name it box fall off Coaling. Now let's go to the construction script. Let's get our field system component. Let's remove persistent fields. Let's add a persistent field. We're going to enable the field and we're going to set the field type to, well, the physics type, I mean, to disable threshold. Where's that at? There it is. Now we're going to get our cooling field, which is a component I forgot to add. And we're going to set cooling field. We're going to plug that into the field node, set the cooling operation to outside. And now we're going to get our box fall off culling. And we're going to again set something. This time we're setting box fall off. We're going to plug that into culling field. And we're going to leave all of these values the same. And we're just going to get our boxes world transform plug that in we can duplicate this whole thing get rid of our box fall off calling and get our box fall off and we're going to promote magnitude to a variable I accidentally made it a local variable so let's delete that and let's promote it to a variable and let's give it 50,000 as a default value. This can be plugged into the input field and now compile, save. Okay, so back here, let's get rid of our other two fields. 
Let's raise this up. And let's get our disable field. Let's bring it in. And let's set it to 20 by 20 by 1. And let's raise it up. Let's also scale this. And so we can make sure that this is right on the ground. I guess we can also raise the ground. That works too. And now if we simulate. As pieces land in the field, if they're still colliding, um, they might scoot around a bit. But the, all these pieces have been disabled by the physics field. There's also a sleeping physics field that will set your pieces of your mesh to sleep, essentially, meaning that they'll stop simulating until something else that simulating physics, like a character that can interact with physics, comes into contact with the field. That's a bit more complicated, so we're just covering the disable field in this bite-sized UE5 video. And for more information about physics fields, be sure to check out the documentation linked in the description below the video. So there you have it, the longest video so far in the bite-sized UE5 series. If you liked it, consider liking and subscribing, ring the notification bell too, and I'll see you in the next episode of Bite-sized UE5. Thanks for watching.